That sergeant of yours may pull that withdrawal he's so anxious about. Yeah, well, that captain of yours may wish he'd taken a sergeant's advice before this is finished. A British captain doesn't take advice from an American sergeant. You wanted to stay, huh, Captain? Now we're locked in. Captain, you have a bazooka? No, it was knocked out. What about that tank grenades? None left. Good, Sergeant. It might. Fall back. Fall back. Hey. Fall back. Fall back. See that the men get ammunition distributed to them in their positions. And work them turn and turn about so they can get something to eat. All right, sir. Good work, boys. Thanks, Captain, sir. Well, Sergeant, for a man so obstinate by nature, you've proved yourself refreshingly inventive. That means thanks, and you're welcome. The Germans have taken up position further down the road. They'll be back with a lot more like them. Well, we'll be ready for them. But, Captain, those orders I delivered yesterday, they still stand. We're not completely cut off yet. We could still pull out and try for that road. We could. But Jerry seems to want this depot pretty badly. He might even give up his advance if he can't get it. Captain, we were lucky this time. If they really want this depot, they have the strength to take it, and you know it. We shall see, Sergeant. We shall see.
He must still be looking for that Nazi that killed his sister. I hope he never finds him. Everybody okay? A jolly good show, ain't eh, Sarge? Sergeant, you with superlative. <laughs> hey, hey. How much longer we got to stay with this sporting group, Sarge? The order not to. Don't sell them short. Sergeant Saunders! Captain wants to see you. Give him a hand here, huh? All right. Joyce reported on our ammunition yet? Yes, sir. We have a fair supply of small armed ammunition, sir. No anti tank weapons and a uh, few grenades. Mm -hmm. What about mortars? We lost our only three mortars in the first attack. We're trying to build a new one, sir. You're building mortars? Well, it's not so unfeasible, Sergeant Saunders. We have a maintenance shop in the yards, you know. All right, so maybe you can build some mortars, but as far as us holding out here, the percentages are getting worse. Sergeant Saunders, I gather you find the esprit de corps here a little hard to understand. Is that so? No, sir. I find it unrealistic. Look, Captain, I know you have wounded men. You don't want to leave them. All right. But you've got a couple of vehicles. You could carry them. You make a run for it now, you're still able to get through. You stay here, there won't be enough left of you to bury. I will not retreat. And I will not accept defeat. Captain, pride and principles don't apply in this war. Especially not in a place like this. I am thinking of my men, Sergeant Saunders. I do not want to have them killed. You mean killed retreating or staying here to die on your terms? Sergeant Saunders, nobody's going to die on anybody's terms. We are staying here because I believe it is the best thing to do. I hope you're sold on that belief, Captain. Because every time one of your men dies, they're going to wonder if you were right. Get a couple of sandbags. What is that? Right in front there. That's the idea. And one over here in back. That's it. In there. Just that good. Uh, another one for here. That's it. One over here. That's it. That's it. Beautiful job. That's How many more do you want? One more would do. Well, don't knock yourself out, will you? I don't think you're working hard or something. Come on. Hurry up. Ah. There she is. Hey, what do you got there? Homemade mortar? Hey. <laughs> Boy, you guys rinky-dink. <laughs> they ought to make us up some slingshots next. You young fella's a comedian. How many more grenades you got left? Ah, uh, about 30. Got to make every one of these count. Hey. The TNT will improve their kick a wee bit, I'm thinking. Mm. Hey, TNT ain't gonna do you no good unless you pack them in tight, you know? Otherwise, you'd just be making a bunch of noise, that's all. Hey, maybe you could scare the crowds to death. <laughs> You're a big, ugly sort of bloke. Maybe you'd like to go out there and scare them yourself. Hey, well, listen, uh, you keep talking mean to me and I won't let you play with my grenades. <laughs> Thank you. 
How's it coming along? Just fine. Yes, Rawlings. I've distributed fresh ammunition to the outpost, sir. And the mortar will be working soon. Oh, that's splendid. Tell me, um, how is Giles? Coming along, sir. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. And the rest of the men, are they in good heart? Well, as can be expected, sir. <laughs> Stand at ease, sir. Rawlings? Yes. I'd like to uh, ask you something. No. Rawlings, do you think that we should stay here and fight? Not for me to say, sir. I'm asking your opinion, Sergeant. Well, it's not for me to say, sir. I do as I'm told. Yes, I know you do, Rawlings, always, but... Do you agree with Sergeant Saunders that we should attempt to withdraw? Whatever you do, sir, I believe in your judgment. Yes, but Rawlings, if I'm... If we stay, and I'm proved wrong... I never think of that. You're the captain, sir, and I'm the sergeant, and that's the way it is. Yes, all right, Rawlings. Uh, thank you. What's the boy doing over there? Looking for the German who killed the system. I see. Look at him. We should get rid of it. Cry or do something. I think he's seen too much of all this to cry easily, Sergeant. Captain. Yeah? Captain, your man Giles in a pretty bad way. He needs a hospital. I know he does, Doc, but... Look, in the meantime, do what you can for him. I already have, sir. Captain, he's asking for you. I think you'd better go in there. All right. See me, Giles? Yes, sir, I do. Is there anything I can do for you? Will you answer a question? If I can. Why are we still here? Why haven't we tried to get out? Because I consider it best that we stay. Sir, I'm willing to take my chances on the roads. I'm sorry, Giles, it, it's not quite as simple as that. You see, there are other considerations. 
I believe that this depot is very important to the enemy. Important enough for us to stay here and defend it. I believe that we can hold out here. And I believe we can win. You know something, sir? I always thought I'd be the heroic type. But now I find I'm not very heroic at all. I just hurt very badly. And I don't want to die. Charles, you are not going to die. Since neither of us are doctors, I figure I'm in a better position to be the judge of that. I want us to leave now while maybe there's still a chance for me. I'm sorry, Charles, I can't do that. Yes, you can if you want to. All you're worried about is the shame of it. Well, I'm worried about me. And I say, let's leave or retreat or withdraw or whatever you want to call it. I want to get out of here now. I don't care what happens. Captain Giles is dead. Marshal Dot Hochbart Special. The Lieutenant wishes to see the commanding officer. Ah. Well, um, uh, come and see him at uh, May, yeah? Huh? Why been here? You bring up the rear, Corporal Joyce. And uh, keep your eyes open, lads. All right, go on. Come here, Marcher. Sir, I want you to set up all the mortars. We've only got one. We've only got one working marcher. Got it? I've got it, sir. Yes. Right. Here better, 
Tell him to wait here. I'll ask the captain if he'll see him. Wir sollen hier warten. Sagen Sie ihm, wie er Öl bewacht und umzinkelt und bespare Blut auf beiden Seiten. The Lieutenant wishes me to inform you that you are completely outnumbered. He gives you this chance to surrender. Oh, it's very kind of him, I must say. Seems we have a generous and compassionate enemy. Uh, tell your Lieutenant that I am touched by his concern, that I am also concerned for his welfare too. Tell him that we have no intention of giving in and that we and our American friends here We'll hold on to our position, uh, if the lieutenant so wishes, until there is not one single solitary German left alive in this whole sector. Uh, do I make myself clear? Uh, der Herr Hauptmann, der ist Ihnen sehr dankbar, aber er lässt Ihnen sagen, dass er auch für Ihr Wohlbefinden sich sorgt. Uh, er und die Amerikaner, die wollen kämpfen so lange, bis der letzte Deutsche erledigt ist. Ich will Sie fragen, ob Sie das verstanden haben. Thank you. Will you take your squad and cover our right flank?
better get him in the station. Sergeant Rawlings, I want you to take over command. Let's get him inside. Look out, lads. There'll be some hot tea up in a minute. a lot of blood. He needs a hospital, Sarge. They all need a hospital. Mm -hmm. Sarge. Yeah, Cage. When are we going to get out of here? Pretty soon, Cage. Pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Rollings. Saunders. Sergeant Saunders. Rollings. Sergeant Rowley, soldiers, soldiers, and Sergeant Rowley. Everything's all right, Captain. Take it easy. You think I'm a fool, don't you, Saunders? give much, do you? What else is there to give, Captain? I followed your orders. You took over responsibility? Yes, I know. I haven't changed my ideas. I'm just as determined to remain here as I ever was. Are you, Captain? Yes, I am, Sergeant. And why do you need me to tell you that you're right? I don't. You see, I've decided to release you and your men. You're free to go back to your unit. Captain. I'm grateful. You pick a bad time to grant favors and become friends. No. I don't need friends. That's right, Captain, you know. You need my firepower and my squad. And the only way you're going to get them is to order me to stay. I'm giving you a chance to get out now.
How's the cap? Say. He offered to let us go. What? You mean we probably got to get out of here? Yeah, don't follow you, Sarge. Well, why ain't we? They got nothing left. They need us. Well, they might need us, but that still don't make it no less stupid. Look, Kirby, if you want to go that bad, you just go on. Go on. I just don't want to take off us. Just talking about it, that's all. And the talking's over with, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. Softened us up good, they did. They'll be coming any minute now. They were only waiting for daylight.
Raven. The lieutenant wishes to surrender. Blimey. He reminds you that he's an officer and demands treatment in accord with his rank. Faversham, run up and tell the captain. Double. You come with me. Grab them quick, lads, before they change their minds. Wir sind von der Einheit abgeschnitten und können nicht mehr zu Front. We have just received word that we have been cut off from our unit. We cannot reach our lines again. Es ist zu weit, Herr Leutnant. I'll take that. Tell your Lieutenant that I accept his surrender. We all accept. Der Herr Hauptmann akzeptiert die Übergabe. Herr Leitner, gehen Sie mit Rollins, take the Lieutenant. Bristol. Your eyes now. Oh, we got detained. Looks like you detained a few Germans. Their offensive fell apart this morning. We pushed them back where they started. The will be moving in soon. We can pick up casualties in. Tell can you spare some of the aid? Then we can use them in the station. Sure thing. Okay, fellas, help them out. I'd like to see that British captain. Sir? What's his name? Uh, captain John, sir. Yeah, where is he? I'm afraid he's dead, sir. When was he killed? He died right after the surrender, sir. All right, Sergeant, saddle him up. We're moving back to our old position. Things turned out. I wonder if the captain would have been sorry you didn't do things your way. It doesn't matter. He did it his way. Got the job done. Is there anything we can do for you? No. We'll just wait here with the captain till they come for him. 
Thank you. Lieutenant. Where am I going to take him? Up ahead in the town. He's ready to go home. Come on, son. Let's go. <laughs> 